Hi students, it's me Rashid Ayu, Professor of Mathematics. Today I will teach you how you can take the derivative of secant inverse and as well as the cosec inverse x. This is important topic and so many questions has appeared in different entrance exams and uh, as you know I choose few questions always for you from that entrance exams that I will try to solve these questions. Okay, what is the derivative of secant inverse x? It is equal to 1 over absolute x square root x square minus 1 and the derivative what is inside the secant inverse and the value x absolute x greater than 1. Okay, what is the derivative of this u function which is equal to secant inverse x minus y where value of x 5t q y is equal to 4t q. I want to find out the derivative with respect to t are secant x minus y. Okay, it can be written as d over dt into secant inverse. What is x? 5t q minus what is y? 4t q. Okay, 5t cube minus 4t cube is equal to t cube. So it will be d over dt second inverse into t cube. And now I'm going to apply the definition of second inverse x. What is the definition? 1 over t cube absolute. And according to the definition, x square means I'm going to take the square of t cube minus 1 and take the derivative. What is inside the secant inverse? Here is the t cube. The derivative of t cube. So the answer is 1 over t cube t6 minus 1 power will be multiply each other. What is the derivative of t cube using the power theorem? It will be 3 t square. So this is your required expression. Okay. What is the derivative of this equation when y is equal to secant inverse x plus 1 over x minus 1 minus cos inverse into x minus 1 over x plus 1. And I want to find the derivative of this equation. So it is not required to find the derivative of whole equation because using this expression, secant inverse x is equal to cos sec, cos inverse 1 over x. So I'm going to replace this quantity using this equation, secant inverse x plus 1 divided by x minus 1 will be equal to cos inverse take the reciprocal of this term according to this it will be x minus 1 divided by x plus 1 so I can write this second inverse x into x plus 1 over x minus 1 and equal to cos inverse x minus 1 over x plus 1 so I am going to replace this expression by this so above expression will become cos inverse x minus 1 over x plus 1 minus cos inverse x minus 1 over x plus 1. So both are identical inverse of each other. It will be cancelled and the derivative of this 0 is 0. The next, how you can find out the derivative of cosec inverse x. Okay, the definition or the derivative of cosec inverse x is equal to minus 1 divided by over x absolute square root x square minus 1 and take the derivative what is inside the cosec inverse. Here is the x and x absolute should be greater than 1. This is the constraint on this x. Okay, this question has appeared. What is the derivative of this expression or equation when 
y is equal to e raised to power 1 by 2 into log cos 6 inverse x raised to power 2. Okay. Using the property of the logarithm, this square become behind of this log. So this y become 1 by 2 into 2 log of cosic inverse x. So these two cancel by these two and e and log will be vanished by each other and the remaining quantity will be cosic inverse x. So now you can find out the derivative. What will be the derivative of cosic inverse x? dy over dx. It is just a definition of the cosic inverse x. That is minus 1 over x absolute x square minus 1 and take the derivative what is inside the cosic inverse x. So it will be 1. So this is your required derivative. Okay, now I want to find out the derivative of this equation. So again, here there is no need to solve this equation because by using that this equation, I can replace cosic inverse x plus 1 divided by x minus 1 is equal to sine inverse into x minus 1 x plus 1 okay replace this expression by this so y become sine inverse x minus 1 x plus 1 minus into sine inverse into x minus 1 over x plus 1 both are additive inverse of each other will be cancelled indicate y is equal to 0 then the derivative of this quantity again 0 ok this question has appeared in many exams so I will try to solve f is equal to cosec kx g is given to cosec inverse x so what is the derivative of the composition they have given to you 1 by 2 uh, I want to find out the k if a composition derivative or derivative of the composition is 1 by 2 given to you then you want to find out the value of k ok I will find out first composition g composition f it will be g what is f that is cosec kx now I want to go find out the value of g at point cosec kx so put cos kx in g are replaced by x so it will become g composition f of x ok cos inverse what is x it will be replaced by cos kx ok now both are composition using the composition property both will be clear kx the remaining quantity is the g composition f of x is k of x. Now take the derivative of this expression d of dx g composition of x it will be take the derivative it will be just k and it is given to me that the derivative of this composition is 1 by 2 so put here and which is equal to k so this is your required value hope you like this video and you become able to solve the derivative of the secant inverse x and cosec inverse x and you can perform at your home and please like subscribe and comment on my videos thank you very much